The festival continues to grow. This year, moving to the Gustavo Vacarisa's gallery at Casemates for three days of creativity and fun. The event sees a variety of international and local artists and models working together, with workshops also part of the programme. Today was a demo event, a practice run for Sunday's competition. I mean, they have a more relaxed time, you know, it's not so stressful, so they can just let their creativity just kind of flow um, and it's more easy, you know, for them. So today is a good day. Sunday will be slightly more difficult as um, they've only got a few hours to finish their work and after that it's all about the competition itself. So I guess in that day they'll be keeping to themselves, a little bit more stressful, but in the end it'll all be worth it. So would you say this concept is one that will continue to grow here in Gibraltar? What type of response has this festival had in the past? I think every year it is getting a little bit more interesting to other people, even artists that do just normal paintings, you know, I think they're thinking, oh wow, well that could be something that I could get into. And we have the workshops for that reason, if you've never done body painting before, you think, oh well, I can take a workshop, see if I like it, see if there's something there that I might be interested in. The possibilities when it comes to face and body art are immense, with virtually no restrictions. But this year artists have a theme to stick to. But this year's childhood and I've seen already a few of the, the artists work and I'm quite impressed with it. I think it's going to be something very interesting to see. Obviously because it's a childhood thing, some have uh, gone to the darker side of things and others have gone to the more happy side. So it just it depends how you see it. So there's going to be a little bit of both. So be great. Each artist has its own style and technique. Nicotine, a team from the UK, describe themselves as last minute and spontaneous. On this occasion, Nicola and Justine have reacted to their Gibraltar experience. And this is basically depicting our whole trip to Gibraltar. So we've got, um, when we're packing, what we had last night for dinner, we went on EasyJet, this is us on the plane, the Gibraltar flag, and then <laughs> the, the flowers, <laughs> the flowers. We we got in late, and uh, the hotel put our key in the flower pot outside. That, so we had to reach up to get that. And then we found that we only had two single beds for three of us, and it kind of works its way down. <laughs> we we're last minute. We're very very last minute ideas. We never we never plan a paint. We just do it. Um, but I wouldn't say it's a challenge because we just have such a good time, don't we? We just see it as more of a. I think we work quite similar. Um, so you know, as as you sort of step back, you don't know that actually two artists have done it with quite similar in the techniques. So um, once we've finished, it kind of looks like one painter's done it. And I don't think there's many people that can actually find a painting partner like that, really. So if you're interested in viewing a different type of canvas this weekend, the festival will be open to the public at the gallery on Saturday and Sunday after one in the afternoon.